team. My name is Pamela Stewart. I'm an author of young adult science fiction and fantasy. And today it's spring fling time. <laughs> All right. I hope you guys enjoyed the little countdown. I'm trying new things because that's what spring means to me. Hello. Hello. Everyone is already out there. Hello, Miss Brenda. Hello, Miss Shadow. Hello, Miss Chloe. I am so happy to see my girls back, my twins. Hello, Miguel. It is good to see you again. I'm I'm hoping the rest of the live streams went really well for you. I, I think I, I did see that you had signed up for a few more, so I'm excited that you got to participate. It was so nice meeting you last Sunday. Wow. It's hard to believe a whole week has gone by. How is everybody? Share what's going on with you in the comments. I felt like because we were doing the group uh, thing, I couldn't ask you individually, you know, how everyone was doing and what you were working on, really. Um, so we're back. We're back in the fam fam. We're back in the house. We're back in our cozy spot where we can share. So hello, Miss Lisa. Welcome to this live stream. I am happy to have you join us and participate. You're already killing it on the comments, and I'm looking forward to seeing what you do on the word sprints. Well, hello, Miss Barb, my another one of my beautiful and talented co-hosts. I'm sure Miguel was handsome, but yes, you are beautiful and talented and oh, creative assignment due later today. Yes. I am so happy to see you all today. So the theme of the live stream, as you see, I have changed up a few of the little things. Um, in fact, next month, we are going to be celebrating my one year doing live streams. Yay! Um, in April. So I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to do like a little celebration for us, for the Pam Fam. So be tuned, stay tuned for that. But I'm trying to freshen up everything. What spring, what does spring mean to you? And let me know what you'll be working on during the sprints. But what does spring mean to you? For me, it is a time of rebirth, growth, um, looking at things that are going on. It's the end of the winter time. In Michigan, we are having a slightly early spring. The trees are starting to bud. I am beyond excited to get into a new season. I feel like there's more hope in the world and there's more positivity. And if not, I'm going to bring it. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. All right. So some of the things that I'm doing to spruce up, and it doesn't take money to get spruced up. Maybe go out and take a walk before you do writing, change up your daily habits. Um, you know, if you have plants, bring them all into one room and regroup them so that they're more in alignment when you're doing your writing. So something to uh, make you feel better about yourself. Well, hello, Miss Cassie. I am so happy to see you, my friend. It is always good to see you. And yes, it is good to be back in our normal time slot in our normal day of the week. <laughs> but some of the things I'll be doing in quarter two, I have new notebooks and this wasn't very expensive, but it's super cute. I got it at Target for like just a few dollars. And it's just, I love the pineapples because I always imagine, you know, like we should all be like pineapples and wear our crowns on the outside, you know, like, yeah, pineapples a badass. Badass uh, type of fruit. And here's my new Boo Joe. Look at this. Look at this baby. I am very in love with this already. And it's already pre pre page numbered. So, and I'm all about the Boo Joes for organization and having a fresh new one to start a new quarter for organizational people out there. You know, you know how good it feels to start a new Boo Joe <laughs> or a new planner or anything. Hello, hello, what we got going on? Yes, I know, Barb did wonderful. So did my, my friend Miguel um, and uh, Alex. Alex, my friend, she usually joins us a little later. Hopefully she'll pop in, but I thought she did. Um, I thought she did a good job too. And I loved her little unicorn friend that she brought with her. That was very topical and I appreciated it. If she's watching this now or later. So, um, share more about your week. Uh, I got actually, I was having a, kind of a difficult week this week. Um, work has ramped up and I didn't get as much writing as I had hoped, but I'm going to give myself grace and say I got over the minimum amount of words I said. I said 5,000 for the week and I ended up with 6,000. So, 
Yay. Um, I really still want to get this book done by the end of the month. So I still have 10 days. So I'm still working on that. I'm looking forward to Camp Nano and they have new merch. And I literally, the first day, the like five minutes after I got the email, I had already ordered one of their shirts. They have a new long sleeve t-shirt and it's the cutest thing. And I love long sleeve t-shirts, especially for Michigan, because we have like cool springs and cool falls where you can wear the long sleeve t-shirts and you can layer up. So yay. So I'll be checking that. And if you're interested in writing with somebody or getting encouragement over there, I will be doing um, sprints for specifically for Camp Nano. I'll be throwing an extra weekly sprints, maybe early, early morning, maybe late evenings. So make sure you're you're subscribed so you get to know when we're doing it. OK, um, what else is going on? Um, but yeah, Camp Nano, I'm hoping to start my edit for uh, Rebel and that'll be book three in the series. Let's see what else is going on. Oh, I'm sorry. I understand that. I am having the same week as you are, the overwhelming anxiety, but I got a night to completely oh, to catch up. Oh, I'm so glad you've got some time to yourself. And that's honestly, it's so, um, that's another thing you can do during the spring is give yourself time to reevaluate and recharge. And I think that's important to any well live life is that you have to kind of look at what's working and what's not. Like I got new bins for my closets. I'm looking at uh, taking things to, um, the, to donate to charity so I can clean out my closets a little and get rid of those things I've not worn. It's just a good time. It's a good time. And we're going to refresh our writing. So I hope, uh, let me know what you're working on. I'm working on um, my admin because I did get my word count, although I would like to get to some of my story today. I'm actually gonna do a little bit of admin. I'm still working on um, getting, you know, some of the other like shares and things I had promised during my uh, big launch. So I'll be setting up some of those um, social media things that I have to do and Yay, working on a character profiles, emails. Oh my gosh, Lisa, I feel you in my in my soul and I understand. Yeah, we'll give Cassie a big hug. Cassie needs a hug every now and then. I think we all need hugs every now and then. Let me see what else is going on. All right, children. I uh, will share more of things of to renew yourself and maybe what during this first sprint we can think about things that that make you feel renewed. Uh, what do you do? Do you do anything special in the spring? Do you have any spring routines that you do or do you have anything that you like to make you feel refreshed? Do you always clean out your closets? What are some of the fun things or seasonal things you do for spring? And I know we have uh, different seasons around the world, but I think most of us are in the um, time when the spring is a warm and growing time. But if not, uh, let me know what you do during your fall season. Or, you know, I know in Australia is it's going into fall, which is kind of crazy, but beautiful. And let's see, I have a fun race for y'all. Let's see if I can get it going here. Oh, no, that's not what I want to do. All right, we're going to try this again. Try it again. Pam knows how to do it. I swear I do. I have done this before. I am not an expert, though, but I play one on TV. <laughs> it's bunnies! Because Easter is coming, and we're doing spring I thought bunnies would be fun. So pick your little rabbits. There's multiple colors for you and they all look very eager to get those. Um, I'm sure they're probably gonna give them carrots at the end because that's what you do in the virtual world. Aw. Yay, recharging is so important. Sending the big hug hugs. Yeah, we have a number five. We've picked them. I'll try six. Okay. All right. I'm actually going to go with six as well. Me and Miguel, number six. Yeah, I think six is a, is a winner because he's kind of pink and he looks, 
He looks like he's feisty. I, th I think he's got this. Ooh, we have a lot of sixes. Yeah, we got the bunny theme. Oh, I like this. I like, I, I'm trying the new um, theme on uh, StreamYard and I kinda, I'm kind of i kind of digging it. It, it. it fits the vibe that I was going for today. All right. I want you to think about your projects or the things that you need to get done today. Any creative work that you want to work on, um, get to our word processors up, crack them fingers, get your mind focused for 25 minutes. I think that together we can promise each other. And I'm watching you keep your eyes on your paper. Brenda, Lisa, Cassie, Shadow, Barb. We're all going to do this for 25 minutes. And whether it's admin work, whether it's reading you need to get done for school, whether it's uh, reports or creative writing, I think that you can use this next 25 minutes very productively. And then we'll take a break and we'll have some, some chat. So what you drinking today? I actually went to Starbucks and got a iced green tea. All right, I'll be looking for your comments about spring and what you're drinking. And if you haven't shared what you're working on, please share it in the comments. All right, on your marks, get set. Ah, go! Oh my God, they're so fast. <laughs> Sorry. Right, I'm going to focus now. <laughs>
And look at that. It looks like he doesn't get rewarded so for to keep on hopping. Number six is a winner, or number five. I was hoping for number six, but number five is our winner. And I don't think he had any love. And number six was last. So we chose poorly, people. But gosh darn it, aren't they fast? I mean, I was impressed. I got to say. All right. That's enough of you hopping around the bunny tree. Is there a bunny tree? <laughs> well, hello, Miss Tina. It's so good that you popped on in. We are always happy to see your lovely smiling face. I love you so much. Thank you for coming, you sweet thing. All right. I um, did not do a word count. I did check on my sales and on Amazon and compared it to my ad spend, which I've been doing daily, which was one of my goals for the week. And I'm still, uh, I'm pretty much break even, but I'm very happy with that. It means I'm kind of figuring out the system. Uh, there for a while, it was quite the opposite. I was losing money, but now I'm almost break even. I'm actually made, I'm above the, the I'm in the red. <laughs> Not by much, but I'm in the red. Um, no, wait a minute. It's backwards. I'm in the black. I'm in the black. So as red is 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 bad and red and black is good, I think, when it comes to spreadsheets. And, you know, um, black's always good. All right. So then we have, what else did I get done? Um, I think I get a unicorn horn for that alone. And I'm gonna review them tomorrow in more detail and try to get better targets. And I actually found some of my older series uh, were selling on there. Like I have a series box set, which I only have one additional series, it's the Ionia Chronicles. And that's been actually selling, which it had done no sales at all. And suddenly I'm getting like a sale a week or, or two sales a week. You actually got through 300 emails. Way to go, Lisa. Way to go. Way to go, Lisa. Way to go. Way to go, Lisa. Way to go. Oh, hello, Kate. Hi. Welcome. I'm so happy you're dropping in to get some productivity in a video edit and more rewrites. Yeah, I'm getting it. Thank you. You know what? I'm getting out of there. And that's that's you know, that's the dream, isn't it? <laughs> oh my goodness, Shadow, Unicorn Horn of Success for you, my friend, yay! I'm so happy to see you get some work in. Well done. Oh my goodness. And then we have Xanthi has joined us. Xanthi has joined the chat. Everyone hold your horses and hand grenades because Xanthi is here. And welcome to the live stream, my, my friend. And I have not watched, um, Xanthi is one of my uh, friends who I have watched nerdy movies with, and I have not watched Bucky yet, although I desire it greatly, because Bucky is one of my, um, I, I dig him. <laughs> He's definitely on my list of, of, of celebrities that I enjoy looking at. And yay, more sales, more sales. Welcome, welcome everyone. I'm hoping you do well. Yeah, I'm giving out unicorn horns. I mean, Lisa, I think you get a unicorn horn and Shadow gets a unicorn horn and I get a unicorn horn and everybody just for being here. I think you deserve your unicorn horn of success as well. Wow. That was actually a good sprint. I got, um, I also used my brand new spring notebook because it's pink and it has these beautiful shiny, I don't know if you can see how shiny they are. I got it at Target and I love it. And it was not even expensive, but it's got this nice like kind of um, blush, not blush, but um, kind of tinted, like just a little bit of tint, like it's a little maybe tan and it's got like a pink, pinkish lines, but they're not like harsh lines or like dotted lines. And I'm sorry, I am a stationary gal and that brings me much joy. So have you guys thought about what, is there anything special you do in the spring that kind of gets you motivated? Do you clean your, clear your decks? Do you plant some plants? Are you a tomato person? <laughs> but what else do you do? Do you like to start going for walks? Um, do you have any, um, like 
annual things you do. Like I know uh, this year I want to start going to lavender fields in May. There's going to be, I guess the lavender is supposed to be very prolific in Michigan, but I'm not sure that that is correct. I'm going to do some more research on it, but one of my goals this year is just go to an actual lavender farm and maybe I've heard that they do lavender teas and they do like these sachets you can take with you and you can just, you know, be peaceful and just enjoy. And it's something you can do outside. And so I'm enjoying that. Let's see what else is going on. Oh, thank you. I love my notebook so much. Thank you. I'm excited to start uh, fresh with a new season. Did you see Falcon and the Winter Soldier shadow? I know you do because you're always on top of things. You're always on the cool kids list. Yeah, there's a farm. I think it's in Midland or somewhere. It's not too far away from me in Michigan. And um, I think I'm going to pop out there. Nothing special for Lisa. Yeah. Oh, you're from Michigan too. Awesome. And it's too cold most of the time. But this season, it seems like we're getting some nice warmer weather. So I'm going to jump on it while we can. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm glad to see so much production out there. Um, I'm sorry your bunnies uh, were not the winners, but perhaps the next time the bunnies will be able to triumph. Okay, so another thing that I think, um, and you can chime in on this, please. Um, during the spring, we're talking about growth. I think that having a growth mindset is very important to being a writer and being a human. Um, so many people are set in this is the way things are and this is the way things should be. And um, I like if I if someone asked me a question, let's say 10 years ago and just said, hey, Pam, are you ever going to do live streams? And I'm like, oh, I'm too shy. I would never get in front of a camera. I don't even like my picture taken. Cut to 10 years. And here I am um, on potentially anyone's uh, YouTube in the world with a unicorn horn on. So I embrace the growth mindset. So I stopped thinking that there, there are certain things that I just couldn't do, like math. Some people say, I'm just not good at math. You know what? You, there's potential for you to be. And if you change your mindset, you can get better at it. So, you know, thinking that 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 the world is a more malleable place than it is. Or, and I think it helps you be more positive, too, about life because nothing really stays the same, I believe. And if we keep changing and growing and learning new things, then our potential is truly unlimited. That's your positive, Pam, for the day. Positive power, people. We're the people with the positive power. Sorry. I have not sang yet on this stream. Therefore, it is now officially a Pam, a Pam stream. Oh, Easter. Plenty of chocolate Easter eggs. You know, what's your favorite? I'm a Reese's peanut butter gal. If they have any season of Reese's, it's the best. Um, I know. Discuss. What do you think? Christmas trees are the best Reese's shape? Or are the eggs? I know there's a lot of people who really dig the eggs. I actually like the Reese's peanut butter cups that are very thin. And I just got a lot of chocolate. Just a, a nice smather. Just a, like a smear of that really good peanut butter. But. Oh, that's amazing, Lisa. I would maybe, you know, when things uh, in the world are more normal, we can maybe do a live fam fam. Yay. That would be so much fun. Yay, represent Anna. Welcome, welcome. It is so wonderful to see you, my friend, on this bright, shiny Saturday afternoon. A positive power. Yes, the unicorn horn of success is out, and so is my spirit. You guys have lifted my spirits. I was having a really rough week, and having to think about doing this live stream and participating in it has made me have to examine my mindset and and to maybe tilt myself to a more much more positive mind frame. Um, I don't feel like like everyone looks at themselves and says they could have done better. But you know what? I did a good job. And 
next week will even be better because if I remain positive, I'll be more productive. So when you want to beat yourself up, think about me. <laughs> yes, think about me and this unicorn horn, how I'm getting out there to you know motivate you and give you good feelings and give you all the positive vibes, positive vibes. But honestly, uh, uh, just re-examine how you treat yourself and how, how what level of goals you're at. And like, are you killing yourself for a goal, a goal that's not even attainable in, let's say, a day or a week or a month? Um, give yourself grace and, and embrace the positive and clear out any of those negative mindsets. Embrace a more positive, happy mindset. And that, I guarantee you, will make your life a more happy place. Oh, I want to try Reese's peanut butter eggs. I've only ever eaten the peanut butter cups. <gasps> Shadow, is that like not in the UK? Do I have to get your address and send you some? Because honestly, I will. I don't even care how much it costs. That is like, that's like child abuse. I, I, it's like, you need to have a peanut butter egg. Uh, Cadbury's are the bomb diggity. I have to agree with you. I do love my Cadbury eggs as well. Oh, that would be fantastic. I do publish physical copies of all my regular um, length books. I do have some short stories, which I'm going to be um, collecting and putting into uh, a collected version. It's basically a, a trilogy of short stories that are make one book. And I'm going to be collecting those and putting them in print version too. But I certainly do. And thank you so much, Lisa. That is much appreciated. And I, once everything is open, I would love to pop by and, and sign those or whatever they want. If they want me to do, you know, like say hi or whatever, I, I would be happy to, to support that. Wee! Yeah. Yeah, the eggs, the eggs are good. I mean, because there's so much. There's so much, there's so much to love. Oh, yes, the Cadbury's. I think, isn't it? Cadbury is a UK company. Uh, and they're like, that's where some of the best chocolates in the world have come from. But Hershey's, I believe Hershey's makes Reese's. Uh, yeah, those are some of my favorites too. The Reese's with the other snacks. Those are, I, I forget what it's called, but it's like a great mix. And it's got the salty sweet. Mm. Salty sweet. That's me. I mean, not my personality, but I mean, it could be. <laughs> oh, Reese's eggs. All right. This is, I miss the eggs. Oh, no. No, no. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, you make your own out of spite. Yes. Way to work it around, Kate. I appreciate that. Oh, my God. That is like a tragedy. I mean, to never be able to eat egg, like Reese's again. But I appreciate that you have not taken. You've used a growth mindset and you figured a work around. Well done. Well done. What county? I'm in Livingston County. And um, it depends. I've been all the way up to the UP. I've been, I've been all over Michigan. I've been to KZU. Um, I've been up in the thumb and depending on the season, I like to go hiking almost anywhere. So I don't know if anywhere in Michigan I've not gone. <laughs> uh, I've gone to the sand dunes. I'm usually uh, where Livingston County is where I'm, I'm about 45 minutes uh, outside of Detroit. I'm in between Lansing and, De and Detroit. Is the best way of finding me. I'm here. Wait. I'm pretty much mid Michigan. So anywhere is, is within a few hours. Usually the UP is like a trip. That's a trip. But if I'm going up in the, um, in this area, like last city, last year I went to Traverse city and we saw the dark sky park, which was an amazing trip. Um, I've never experienced such beautiful stars in my life. And it was definitely worth going up there. And then I went also to the UP, crossing the bridge and all that fun stuff. Yeah, you are missing out, girl. So I'm open, Lisa. Just send me a message. I think my email is, oh, I didn't think I listed it in this description. I will later. <laughs> but uh, it's Pamela. Wait, what is my email for my writers? 
I'll I'll put it up in a little bit because I don't email myself, so I just copy it. <laughs> what do we got? Uh, baking and convections. You know what? So yay, a new skill set. You know what? Kate, that is a wonderful way of looking at it. And I found that the if one good thing came out of the pandemic is that it made me cook at home a lot. And it made me appreciate that actually the food that I make is way better than anything I get out. Just to be honest, I can't get anything out that tastes anywhere near as good as my stuff. And I mean, it was a process. There's some things that I'm still working on getting it better. But hey, we all learn and grow. Yay! Yay, Lisa! All right, we can have, we can make it happen. Yay! I'm excited. Oh, that's absolutely fine. You know what? Uh, I appreciate the thought. That's actually a very, very sweet gesture, and I, I absolutely appreciate it. Um, I'm actually in the Brighton Library right now, and I think the Howell Library might have my books. Um, those are local libraries, though, and mostly because I went in with them. <laughs> um, I did find one of mine on the resale. Uh, I think it was from my writer's group. They had... Um, they had given it away, <laughs> but that was not too sad because, you know, it was a gift and that's fine. Um, anyway, happy, happy days. I think it's time for another sprint. That was a lovely conversation though. And I am, I am geeked to do more. And I thank you all, you are all doing great. I'm happy to see you. I'm happy to hear you. I'm happy to be positive with you. Let's, let's, let's put this, let's make this happen again. I'm going to make it happen again. Or am I? Add. Ha ha, I did it. Lots of bunnies. All right, pick your little bunny. Also a big fan of the eggs. Yeah, I've got to stock up on my eggs. Do, 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 do. I hope you guys have your root processor up. I hope you have refreshed whatever drink you were having. Uh, banana smoothie. If you got more, <laughs> if you got them, drink them. <laughs> it's tea time for me. This is the biggest tea I've ever had. I was just excited to get to go to Starbucks. So I got, I'm like, Trente, give me the biggest one you have. And I'm still having, I'm, I'm still working on it. Bunny two, we have a bunny five. We have a bunny two, we have a bunny five. I'm going to stick with six. I'm hoping that he got the let out during that break and his little bunny feet are ready to go. Place your bets, people, place your bets. I am ready for productivity. Are you on your mark? Get ready, get ready, get ready. On your mark, get set, go!
Number four is the winner. How did y'all do? I'm trying to block the sun, so I apologize if it's impossible to see me. Number four, number four. It looks like Tina did a great job. We are jumping for joy for Tina. Well done. Anyone else pick four? You did a good job, Miss Tina. I want to start writing. We've done writing. We did that. We already did that. Let's get rid of this bunny. Let's see how let's see how everyone did in the big scheme. All right. Well, number six did better. He came in second this time. We had a four, a six, and a one. So other than the bunny race, how did you do? What's your number? Show me, show me. Show me your numbers. I know he's a little crazy. He's a little crazy. I try, I'm trying to get rid of the sun. So if it's impossible, I ah. Sort of, kind of, maybe. I have to tilt this way. Oh, no, you can see the rest of my bedroom. <sighs> There's just going to be an awkward little piece of light on my head, and I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank you. I did not pick a bunny this time, but... Ah, uh, thank you. I appreciate that, Blue. I feel like I'm talking to Blue's Clues. I want to give out unicorn horns. Show me what you did. Uh, I'm outlining. See, there we go. There we go. Well done, Blue. Outlining a podcast. Woo! All right, unicorn horn success for you, Barb. All right, getting their character interviews done for the Boom Tour. What is that? What is the Boom Tour? Tell us more. I am super curious to know what that's all about. Ah. Uh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you lost a ton of email work. But you know what? I'm proud of you. Unicorn horn for you, Miss Lisa, for keep, keep it on plugging along. Because sometimes the best thing you can do, you know, the only way through is, what is it? The only way forward is through. You can't go around it. You can't go over it. Oh, book tour. Okay. I thought it was something new and I was ready to get the boom. I was like, is it an 80s thing? Because I know about the boom from the 80s. <laughs> or the 90s? I don't know. You got that boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Way to go, Shadow! All right. You're sticking with it, and I'm proud of you. All that talk of Reese's Peanut Butter Cups must have got you jazz, girl. My unicorn horn is glowing in the sun. Oh, there we go. There we go. I'm trying to give you guys, like, special effects. This is, like, this is it. This is as high class as I can get. <laughs> I appreciate that. All right. I'm so proud of y'all. Good job. Good job. Yay. Everyone who is working and doing a good job and getting that work done on a Saturday afternoon. <laughs> I think the boom tour does sound more fun too. It's more mysterious. Does your book bring the boom? That's a question you can ask yourself. <laughs> I didn't get as much as I had hoped that uh, sprint, but I did. I've got some, I'm at the end of my um, monthly goals of things I need to do. I started working on my next newsletter, which is in April, which is, uh, I'm going to be super busy at work during April. So it was wonderful to start each and even opening the email server my I go I use Mailer Light. I don't know what you guys use. If you know a better provider, I really enjoy them because they're fairly cheap and um, they've done a good job. Once I got set up, at first it was uh, hard to switch over. They had, they needed a lot of technical stuff, and I'm like, I'm not technical about this. I don't know what to do. What else did I get done? Um, I did some considerations for swag I want to do for the Star Defenders. I'm really looking to do some t-shirts and, and mugs and things. But that's the process and it's low priority, but I kind of um, picked it that. And I also want to repackage some of my short stories into a, uh, a book. So that's also on my agenda of things I'm reviewing. 
<laughs> it's 8 p.m. there. Oh no. And it is midday for me. I, I know. And I'm going into dinner time after this. So, well, hello, Miss Allie. Have you brought us your unicorn to join us again? I, I'd be excited to know. This is uh, Allie, is one of my other lovely and talented co hosts for the live stream last week. That was so fun. And I really enjoyed meeting so many new people. And it was actually a really good boost to our fam, Pam Fam. So, yay. Working on a new avatar picture for your kids' books. Yes, I did look into some of your books, and they look amazing, Ellie. I think you you do such a good work on that. Uh, I am so happy to see you all. I'm so happy to everyone is is joining in and watching my mag magical now glowing unicorn horn. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. All right. So the last thing that I'm going to maybe touch on for growth in spring and renewal is uh, plants, you know, this time of year, you probably want to give them some fertilizer um, because they've had a long, hard winter. They've been just drawing on their stores and they just want to grow and turn into something better and new and different. And I bet somewhere inside of you, you feel the same way. Like this winter and this last year is maybe drawn so much energy and power out of you and you might not be feeling as creative as normal. Uh, so give yourself some, some fertilizer. Not literally, that's poisonous. Don't do that. But maybe um, look for an online class or go back. There's a couple of, I have a couple of how-to videos, how to find your writer's voice or how, how to write a novel, like some of my favorite craft books. Um, maybe pull out a craft book and read that. Maybe find a friend and read it with you. I've done that before. Um, I did lessons. Margie Lawson gives out wonderful classes. I don't know. Uh, if you look up Margie Lawson, writing coach or immersion, she does some online classes. She has to have packets and two. Um, I found that once uh, after I took her classes, I actually became, I felt like I actually became a professional writer once I did that. Um, and every time I get into a class, even though I might be feeling a little low about my writing, uh, when I start getting with other people who are learning, it encourages me and it makes me think uh, bigger thoughts and it makes me think of ways I can maybe come into the story slightly differently. So give yourself a chance. Uh, try some of the RWA. Um, I used to love RWA. I think it has some issues, but it's coming through it now. But even though I don't write romance, RWA does a wonderful job at educating their, um, their people. And hopefully now that they've kind of cleaned house a little bit, uh, maybe some of their seminars might be good. But again, I can highly recommend Margie Lawson and also um, some of my older videos. Oh, look at you. Yeah, Miss Brenda. Yeah, we actually met Margie in person and we went to one of their immersions, not together, but it was an amazing experience. But that's one of my favorites and a, and a good way of growing. And if you don't have money again to do that, just find a friend that wants to review the book or read it yourself and take copious notes and do a video on it. There we go. You'd be growing in three different in three different ways. Oh, my gosh. Well, it looks like that new ideas is not your problem, Shadow. You just need to keep coming to my live streams and we'll get those all done. I'd have a million dollars if only I could finish the damn things. All right, keep coming to the streams, Allie. This is the way to do it. As the Mandalorian would say, this is the way. This is the way. The, the live streams and sprints are the way. You can do it, girl. Only 30. <laughs> I have lots of character ideas, but um, finding them into a cohesive storyline is not always easy. I'm like, oh, this character is cool and they can do this and this and this. But does it pay off in the big story? Yeah, it needs to. So then it comes to the plotting. <sighs> so many things, but it's all fun. I actually enjoy every stage of writing. Online storage filled. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I understand that, and I identify with that, Ellie. I have a couple of places online where I have to stow my my, my work. 
Okay, so if any if you any of you have ideas of how to maybe grow during this next spring period, maybe you can add it to your second quarter goals. Um, I'm adding trying to read craft books and maybe doing um, doing something like that with one of my friends or maybe doing um, one of my old packets from Margie and reviewing some of the information again because it just gets your blood pumping. It makes you think about story more. <laughs> my muse loves to come and meet with books. Yes. So true, so true. Hope you all are enjoying this live stream. I hope you're you're feeling motivated because guess what? Guess what, gang? We're gonna do it again. I think we can fit one more in and then we'll say goodbye for this week. And I want you guys to start getting ready because you know what's coming in April? Camp NaNoWriMo. And wow, we only have one more live stream before camp. So next week will be prep for Camp NaNo. And then on the third will be the first stream for camp. After that, I'm probably going to start doing even rando ones. And we're going to celebrate the one year of Pam Fam. Um, one year Pam Fam sometime in April as well. So it's going to be, it's going to be off the hook. Going to be awesome. Yeah, going to camp. I already signed up. They have new merch, Allie. They have new merch. I know you came in late, so I know you don't know about that. But I already got the long sleeve t-shirt. And I am there for it. And I'm super excited. Um, camp always gets me excited because you, you can do a flexible goal with Camp Nano. You can say, I'm going to edit a book or you can say, I'm going to do 30,000 words. So it's good for people of many different levels. If you say, I want to do 10,000 words, it's fine. I think the minimum you can do is five words. <laughs> I don't think I've ever tried that. But don't judge me if I have. <laughs> But camp is super fun. I think it's my fave. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry, Allie. Yeah, the, the shipping to UK is terrible. Well, maybe you can still get some kind of writerly uh, paraphernalia to celebrate your, your project. Yay, thank you so much, Kate. Oh, yay, you finally got some stuff done. Yay, unicorn horn of success for you, my friend. Oh, yes. Yes. All right. We're going to get down to brass tacks. We're going to get it done. Let's see if I can even get through halfway through my newsletter. Who else has got great projects? Who else has got great things? Great expectations. I have great expectations. I am ready for the last. It's the final. I can't do it, but I can. Countdown. Do -do -do -do. Do -do 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 -do. You guys ready for the last stream? Do -do 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 -do. Anyone who doesn't know the final countdown, who are you and why are you here? No. <laughs> Yay. Well, you don't, you don't need to get a official camp gear to feel motivated. I mean, there's lots of stuff on Etsy and I'm sure there's Etsy sellers that would do something that do some things. Yeah. Look around. I'll see if I can find something. Um, that is maybe available out there because that's sad. I, I want you to participate. I know for many years, I my first t-shirt I got in two, in two years ago because I didn't have the money to buy such things. I was a single mom and I didn't have extra money. But the last couple of years, I've actually had a little extra money and I allowed myself when I did succeed at Nano to get a t-shirt. This time, I don't care if I succeed. I'm getting myself the shirt in advance so I can wear it on the live stream. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. I've talked enough. This is it. It's a final countdown. Do -do -do -do. Do the final hop down. We're going to do some hopping. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do -do -do. Do -do 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 do. Oh. Okay, that's perfect. You know, they do a July camp too. If you can, I don't know how the UK school works if they do a summer break. Uh, I think uh, if I remember right, because I used to have a friend in the UK who went to school there and she said that they do year round school mostly. So I don't know. Oh, good, good. We're going to do a whole scene. All right. All right. I'm ready, people. Are you ready? Are you? I'm ready, Mr. Krabs. 
in honor of Easter. Yeah, I guess it's more of a spring fling. We're doing a spring fling. Also Easter. Why not? Okay, number five. We have number five. I'm going to stick with six because you know what? I, I'm not a faint. I'm not a fair weather fan. All right. I'm not a fair weather fan. I am ready. Are you ready? It's start. Wait, no, not yet. Pam, what are you doing? All right. No, we're sprinting time. We're ready. All right. I like bunny six. All right. Blue and I are on six. We like that, that pink Easter vibe. I like his little curly ears too. So I am ready. Are you ready? Get those word processors hot. I want to see some massive word counts in this next time. On your mark, get set, go. Yay.
six. Come on. It looks like number one classic Bugs Bunny Bunny has won the race. I'm sorry to all of you who also thought the pink pony had what it took. But alas, he did not. Number two, number six. I don't think we had any number ones. But you know what? If you participated in the live stream, you've already won. So tell me what you have done during this beautiful 25-minute sprint. I want to see your numbers, my friends. Bugs. Yeah, it's Bugs. I love it. That's a fun fact, Shadow. I know, like, Shadow is bringing the knowledge. Makes me want to go back to cottage. Oh. And, I mean, take the time to read that. It is kind of, it puts you in, it keeps it in perspective of how uh, the U.S. is so much different than the U.K. I honestly want to come over there one day and just experience it. I feel like I feel crowded now. But, um I think some of your up north areas are kind of open still too, like Scotland, uh, maybe in the northern Scotland and Ireland, perhaps. Yay, Tina! Yay, Tina! Yay, Blue! Blue's Clues! I'm giving you double thumb, or I'm, I'm finger guns. I'll give you finger guns, but I won't point them at you. Bang, 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 bang! I mean, this is a celebratory celebration huzzah it looks like we got through the sun finally so my unicorn horn is is no more glitter <laughs> oh well done oh 800 you weren't kidding were you oh my god oh my god you need to clean house girl and i think honestly i'm not here i want to share this with you because you have shared that private and and alarming information <laughs> I had 11,000 emails at one point because I didn't know how, I mean, I knew I could erase them, but I was too scared to erase them because I thought that I would lose something important. So then I read, um, it is called Getting Things Done by David Allen. And I did not do everything he said, but I did go through my emails and do a massive wipe. So I no longer have 11,000 emails, but I feel you, girl. Lisa, you are my sister of my heart. <laughs> oh, Kate, Kate! Oh, 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 we got some actual words done. Impressive. Most impressive. You st I'm going to have to super corn. I'm going full nuclear. Full nuclear. This is what happens to a unicorn when he's near radiation of that. You're bright, shining so bright, you bring out the super corn. Well done, Kate. Well done. Yeah, I try not to, but then I'm like, am I ever, like, I had emails from 2013 at one point, and I'm like, is there any information in here that could potentially be important to my life? No. But I do, I mean, there, occasionally I kept something that was meaningful to me in a special folder, which I did move those out, anyone from. But, you know, the everyday notification emails that I get, I had to clean out. It was just overwhelming. I could never find anything. Yes, you have been a, you have been a super corn. Ah! I, I, I'm, I'm not a great singer. If I were opera singer, this would be more epic. Yay! I'm so glad you made it back, Ellie. Huzzah! The super corn has been unleashed. And I'm so happy that you guys are doing production. Yay, blue. Yay. Tina, for getting your ideas down. Oh, Brenda, well done, girl. Woo! I should have supercorned you first. I'm sorry, I didn't see you. But you get a supercorn as well. That 300, 300 words in 25 minutes, that's fan-freaking-tastic. Cheers. Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your word count. Bum, 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 bum. I need to stop saying go, 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 because I feel like I went, went, went. <laughs> you want to be where you can be the people are all the same i want to go where everybody knows your name and your word count let's see i'm reading through the comments 
I got distracted. But you know what? That's okay. You did some proper research and I'm impressed. Uh, Hamilton. Yes, I did flash up my Hamilton. He threw away his shot. He didn't want to throw away his shot. I thought Lin-Manuel Miranda used language in such a way that made my heart hurt. He is a brilliant man. And if he were not already wed, I would try to make him mine. He is, he is fantastic. And I adore his mind. I would marry his mind in a heartbeat. I wrote a whole paragraph. Well, you know what? As I said in my note to you, 15 minutes is still better than zero minutes. One minute is better than no minutes. So you, you all did well. And thank you all for coming today. I think that might be, we're coming to the close of this beautiful Saturday stream. I'm actually really enjoying myself and I still have good energy. So I hope you are too. I hope this has done something well for you. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. It helps me out. Please come back next week. Uh, we'll be nano prepping like nobody's business. I'll bring out all my best tools and tips and hopefully something new that you've never thought of, or at least just kind of uh, doing, you know, like massive prep work for any project you're working on. And there'll still be the 25 minute sprints to actually get whatever you're working on done. So I thank you all for showing. I appreciate it. Uh, you make my day better. My Saturdays, I look forward to meeting with you. It's like hanging out with my, well, it is. I'm hanging out with the Pam fam. I'm hanging out with my, my, my friends and, you guys, we've made this wonderful group, and I'm so excited to come and see you every week. Um, have a wonderful, wonderful day, and until next week. Oh yeah, gather your snacks. Yep, we're gonna be. It's gonna be hardcore, and I love you all. Please take care, and I'm gonna have a lovely snack myself. And and Oliver has been really good. Um, so he's probably gonna wake up, and we're gonna have some playtime. So take care, y'all. I will see you soon. Check me out on other social media if you want more craziness during the week. Hey, love you. Bye.